Indianapolis, the capital of Indiana, is an energetic city that's bursting with awesome attractions and amazing activities. It's no surprise that visitors get overwhelmed by the sheer volume of things to do in Indianapolis. Rest assured that ours is the definitive list of what to do in this epic city. From sprawling parks to a historic library, Indianapolis is full of beautiful public spaces. There are also a number of incredible museums and galleries that will blow your mind away. Whether you're learning to throw an axe or tasting the best beers in the city, there are so many quirky activities to experience in Indianapolis. So, here is the list of 10 best things to do in Indianapolis, Indiana. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Here we go! Number 1. White River State Park Found in downtown Indianapolis, White River State Park is bankside to its namesake, White River. The park spans 250 acres, homing diverse, world-class attractions for everyone. The first attraction to call White River State Park home was the Indianapolis Zoo, established in 1988. Since then, the park has become the home of various other notable attractions, including Indiana's largest IMAX theater, the NCAA Hall of Champions Museum, and the Itel Jord Museum of American Indians and Western Art. Take part in one of these top attractions, rent a kayak or pedal boat to drift down the Central Canal, or stroll down the various walking paths. The options are endless in White River State Park. Number 2. Indianapolis Zoo Also in White River State Park, this beloved Indy attraction is regularly a top traveler's list of things to do in Indianapolis, welcoming over a million visitors per year and acting as the home of more than 3,800 cute and cuddly animals and a few odd. Spread across 64 acres of land and with twice as many exhibits as any other zoo in the state, you'll find everything from the rare and endangered, including white rhinos, Amor tigers, guinea baboons, red pandas, and Komodo dragons, to the most common of cheeky monkeys and slithery snakes. With plenty of relaxation spots like their water lily garden, the perfect place for a picnic, and quiet paths where you can take your time admiring the animals, as well as live feedings and trainer shows, the Indianapolis Zoo is one of those places that makes you feel like a kid again. Number 3. Central Canal Since those busy days in the early 1800s, Central Canal has transformed into a gorgeous attraction in the downtown area. Once a pivotal waterway that transported goods in and out of Indianapolis, the Central Canal has taken on a new life in recent decades. Today, you can rent kayaks and paddle boards to make your way down the picturesque canal with the city skyline rising in each direction. The canal cuts through the White River State Park, a central oasis far removed from the bustle of local traffic. It's a beautiful and calming experience, offering a unique perspective of the city. Later, jump back onto dry land and explore the miles of walking and cycling trails that lead to scenic picnic spots. Number 4. Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum Perhaps best known for its spot on the NASCAR calendar with the Indy 500, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum, the home of racing in Indianapolis, is also a must-see for lovers of all things fast and furious. Sitting inside the middle of the famous 2.5-mile oval track, the museum covers two whole floors with dozens of historic cars, including those that won the coveted rave, motorcycles, engines, and memorabilia dating back to the late 1800s. While the rotating exhibits come and go, the undisputed highlight is the permanent fixture of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Hall of Fame, a must for any devout petrol head. Hot tip, for the most in-depth experience, consider joining a guided tour. Number 5. Eagle Creek Park The largest park in Indianapolis, Eagle Creek Park is also one of the largest municipal parks in the United States and one of the top Indianapolis attractions to visit. 
From 56th Street, locals and visitors alike can leave the skyscrapers and traffic behind by venturing down the many nature trails or paddling across the sprawling lakes. You can take advantage of the ample amenities within the park, including several rental shops. Get your hands on a kayak, canoe, or SUP and head out onto the water while in the summer the park's marina offers sailing lessons. Eagle Creek Park features a beach for lazing under the sun, playgrounds, and obstacle courses. The park is also a preserve, and exploring on foot is a great way to find privacy among nature and maybe spot some lingering deer. This is one of the most fun things to do in Indianapolis. Number 6. Children's Museum of Indianapolis if you're in Indianapolis with kids, a visit to this museum is a must. Spanning 472,900 square feet and boasting 11 galleries, the Children's Museum of Indianapolis lives up to its title as the world's largest children's museum. Exhibits at the highly praised facility include a planetarium, the Dinosphere, Now You're in Their World, featuring eight different species, and the National Geographic Treasures of the Earth exhibit which showcases recreations of three archaeological sites, including an Egyptian tomb, a pirate shipwreck, and China's terracotta warriors. Beyond these standouts, there are also several more floors of exhibits and even some chihuly glass for decoration. Plus, the museum boasts an impressive 12,500-year-old mastodon skeleton and a carousel. Seasonal outdoor exhibits about sports are also available, Recent visitors said you can't leave Indy without taking a spin through this museum. Number 7. Lucas Oil Stadium Home to the city's beloved Indianapolis Colts, Lucas Oil Stadium is the place to go for live sport and concerts year-round. The state-of-the-art arena has a max capacity of 67,000 fans and regularly sells out during the NFL season. Lucas Oil Stadium has a retractable roof, perfect on those sunny fall days or to protect fans from the bitter winter evenings. When the roof is open, you can take time to admire the skyline while being less than a mile from the city center. With its prime location, it's easy to get to and from Lucas Oil Stadium via public transport. If you've arrived outside of a game or concert, you can still embark on a guided tour. This will take you onto the field and even into the NFL locker rooms. Number 8. The Indianapolis Cultural Trail Officially termed the Indianapolis Cultural Trail, a legacy of Gene and Marilyn Glick, but commonly referred to as the Indianapolis Cultural Trail, this trail in downtown Indianapolis connects three unique public spaces to make it easy for locals and tourists to adventure and discover. And it's one of the best things to do in Indianapolis for good reason. The trail's purpose of establishment is to combine an eight-mile-long linear park with busy downtown streets to connect neighborhoods and other cultural amenities. This design was established to enhance the quality of life and encourage activity and engagement in the community. The brick trail is designed purposely for bicyclists, with a sidewalk for pedestrians added for most of the Indianapolis Cultural Trail. Visit local shops and cafes and find unique stores and museums as you navigate this popular trail. Number 9. Holiday Park Tourists looking for a peaceful spot of nature will love Holiday Park, located along the White River. It offers 3.5 miles of trails that wind through the woods and wetlands, including a wheelchair-accessible viewing platform by the water. The park is also home to lovely year-round gardens that are maintained by various local garden groups, as well as a picturesque rock garden and an arboretum featuring more than 1,200 trees. Photographers will be most interested in the ruins, which are the remains of a facade taken from New York City's former St. Paul building. The lovely stone pieces, as well as three limestone statues, were placed in the park after the original structure was demolished and stand today as an art installation. They are set within the gardens and are accompanied by a fountain and a children's water table. The park also offers several free things for families to do in Indianapolis, including a nature center with hands-on exhibits and activities.
Number 10. Indiana State Museum. Located in downtown Indianapolis White River State Park, the Indiana State Museum features a variety of exhibits and experiences that explore the natural and cultural history of the state. The museum's first floor focuses on the state's natural history, including its geology and long extinct residents. Here, you can walk through an ice tunnel that reproduces the experience of being inside a glacier and get a look at an ancient mastodon. The second floor is dedicated to the region's cultural past, beginning with an extensive exhibit that shows the lives and traditions of the native populations. You will also find exhibits that address more recent Hoosier history, including Civil War artifacts and other important cultural topics. The museum also houses a hands-on naturalist's lab and hosts regular puppet shows. Number 11. The Benjamin Harrison Presidential Site. The former home of the 23rd President of the United States, the Benjamin Harrison Presidential Site, previously known as the Benjamin Harrison Home, was established in 1874 to 1875. It includes 16 rooms and Italianate Victorian era architecture and design. President Benjamin Harrison is the only president elected from Indiana, and the site plays a unique role in Indianapolis history. For history buffs, this is one of the best things to do in Indianapolis to learn about the city's and nation's history. It's even located in the old Northside Historic District, which is a residential neighborhood full of historic buildings. Through the three floors, ten rooms, ten zero 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 plus artifacts, and reconstructed carriage house available to be explored on tour, the Benjamin Harrison Presidential Site is full of historical memorabilia and opportunities to learn more about Indiana's role in United States history. Number 12. Victory Field for many reasons, Indianapolis is an exciting destination for sports fans. However, an easily forgotten part of the local sports scene is Victory Field, home to the Indianapolis Indians. The stadium, which can hold almost 15,000 fans, is one of the best spots to watch minor league baseball. Forget expensive food and drinks at MLB stadiums around the United States. Settle in for a cheap and fun day at the ballpark in town. There are many specific events that make each match worth attending, such as free base running for the kids and dollar snacks. If the young ones grow restless as you enjoy the ball game, they can run free on Victory Field's spacious green lawns. Number 13. New Fields Spread out across 152 acres, New Fields is a complex dedicated to the arts and nature including gardens, a greenhouse, a nature park, and the Indianapolis Museum of Art. Featuring more than 50,000 works of art, the Indianapolis Museum of Art is an impressive institution. Not only does the IMA offer an impressive collection of neo-impressionist paintings and Asian art, but it also boasts one of the largest contemporary art parks in the U.S. Stroll through Virginia B. Fairbanks Art and Nature Park for an acclaimed outdoor space that features a 35-acre lake and art installations set amidst woodlands and wetlands. While you're outside, consider visiting the Lily House and the Gardens, an early 1900s French-inspired estate that is a National Historic Landmark. Recent visitors highly recommended including new fields on your itinerary and said it was a great way to spend a day in Indy. Some particularly loved the gardens and the special events and exhibits, like the harvest and holiday displays. The last word. So, guys, this was the best list of things to do in Indianapolis, Indiana. Hope you will like it and appreciate it. People who come to this city are amazed by all of the awesome things there are to do and see. Indianapolis, a typical Midwest city and capital of Indiana, lies southeast of Lake Michigan on the White River. It is almost exactly in the center of Indiana, on a site selected by 10 government commissioners in 1820 for the new capital of the state. Indianapolis has many things to do, from taking an evening stroll on the canal walk after a waterside dinner to sightseeing downtown. 
The city's world fame, however, comes from the Indianapolis 500, the car race held annually on the Sunday before Memorial Day on the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. So, if you love to travel and you want to see the whole world then Tripoyer is the channel that gives you a list of the best places to visit in the USA. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icons for the latest upcoming travel videos. Bye bye, see you.